Hello and what is going on guys, Tomcat here, and in this video, we're going to be playing a game called Jalopy. Now, this is a game I was reached out to to play, and it's, it's, rather than me ex trying to explain it to you, because the concept of this game is very interesting, it's very different, and it's very, uh, it's a very new idea. But rather than, like I said, rather than trying to explain it to you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it, and, and literally just see, uh, see what happens and experience it with you guys because I've never played this before. So, a couple of different things we can do here. We can go to the options right here probably, which is the, yeah, you can go audio, video, credits, by the, like, blah, blah, blah. Video should be, let's turn that FOV up a little bit. And let's see. Main, exit options. And let's see. Now, we just click on the book and get started. New game, continue, options, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and go with the new game, because that's about it. All we got to do. Let's see. June 23rd, 1990. Uh, the Berlin Wall has fallen, causing a ripple of political change throughout the East. Um, let's see. My uncle, after years of service to the state, has been rewarded with the unrestricted access of a uh, Leica 601 Deluxe Motor Vehicle. With, uh, with this newfound freedom, we plan to head east to his birthland. Uh, his, or to his birthland. And let's see. It's, it has been 11 years since he has seen that faraway place. Warning, this will erase your previous save data. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, yes. I do like how they set it up, though. It's got this interesting style to it. Um, and I did turn the graphics all the way up before I started. So, I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether or not uh, these graphics are going to be good or not, but we'll see. Wake up! Wake up! Wake. Finally. Whoa, who is this dude? Stay in bed any longer in the day will make fools of us both. Come now. I have something important to show you. Come, come. It's just outside. Where are we headed, dude? Dude, your jacket is, like, freaking me out right now. Can't handle that jacket, bruh. Can't handle it. It's on another level. June 1990. What an interesting style, though. Look at this. This here is a Leica 601 Deluxe. Something of an engineering legend in the GDR. 0 to 60 kilometers an hour in 22.5 seconds. Top speed of 100 kilometers an hour. All at the economical rate of 25 MPG. That is, if we can get her running. Not to worry. I have everything ready. We'll just need to build her an engine, slap on some wheels, fit the passenger side door, and give her a bit of a clean. So let's get started. Fit the replacement door. It's over on top of that scrap pile behind you. If you squint, you'll be able to see it. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Cool. That's an interesting, like, zoom-in technique. I like that. That's it. Yes. Now we're on our way back to stick that door on. And so we just, oh, literally, we just put it there. Less than elegant, but it's on. Right. Now let's fit the engine. Yes. If you open the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that, and it will release the bonnet. Can you see it? It's a black latch. It should be just under the steering wheel. I believe I do? Yep, that one. Right there. That's it, you got it! Open the bonnet and I can walk you through this. Let's do it. Get that bonnet open. She needs an engine. A load of stock parts sat in the garage. Go collect one and I'll walk you through what it does. Alrighty then. So we've literally got, got to get this baby on the road. Let's see. Oh, here's the stock parts. Stock air filter. Let's see. Go collect one and we'll get started building the engine. What do we got? Stock engine. So there's the our block itself. That might be a good place to start. At least that's where I would start. It's the engine block. Let's see. The core of your like, uh, like a setup. 
The engine block defines core performance of your Leica, including top speed and acceleration. A poorly kept engine block will mean your Leica will struggle to perform. Go ahead, drop into the engine. She's in! So shift is crouch, I'm guessing, then. And I'm trying to jump with space, but there really isn't a... We'll, we'll do the battery probably last. Grab our air filter. We'll get back out there. Yeah, as far as I can tell right now, there is no jump. The air filter isn't necessarily required, but it's a good idea to have one as it will reduce the rate of wear. He is right about that. He is right. He is very right. Oh, come on. Line up. There we go. It's like, damn. Next up, we're going for the... Mm, let's see. Stock carburetor. Mm, could do that. We could do... Stock water tank. Stock ignition coil. We'll grab the carb. It's like the carb and intake assembly, almost. Got it, got it. We know what a carburetor does. Stick you right there. Good to go. And then we'll go ahead and head back in the garage. Grab our next piece. That will be our stock water tank. We can go ahead and drop this thing in as well. We're slowly, slowly but surely, getting a, uh, getting a little car together. Just pretty freaking awesome. Alright, where's my cursor? There it is. Water tank's good to go. Just two more pieces left to do. Ignition coil and a battery. Grab that ignition coil. It's the ignition coil. Channels an electrical charge to start the engine. Ignition coil uh, that's in bad condition may struggle to start the engine. Yes. It'll also struggle sparking as well. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Obviously, there's a lot of space for more, but I guess we'll build that up as we go. Because I don't see any other ignition. Oh, wait a minute. A fuel tank would be important. Yes, I'm, I'm very, very keen on putting a fuel tank in. It's fuel for your Leica. Let's see. First of all, it's gravity fed, so you need to open the bottom and then fill directly to the tank when refueling. Like it's running a two-stroke engine, this means you'll need to mix in some oil. Is that two-stroke? Whoa, that's different. Well maintained, get too beaten up, it'll start leaking everywhere. That's not good. But she's in. She's good to go. Let's grab that battery. I'm so curious to see what happens when we've, once we've got all this stuff in and together. It's a battery. We know what a battery does. We got gotcha. you. Yep, dropping in the engine now. Is everything installed? Good job. Fill her up. Getting nowhere without fuel and oil. All right, let's see. We need to fill that. Uh, yep, petrol, oil, and water or coolant. Where's our fluids at? Okay, here we go. Oh, we can get multiple stuff at once? Oh, sweet. That, I was like, I'm going to try it and see if we can. Let's see. Yes, it is. Drop that if you're done with it. Now, two-stroke oil. See, lean mixture result in a faster car, but increased wear, rich mix will result in the opposite. Try using a full tank of fuel to affect the fuel mixture. Go ahead and drop and drop that if you're done with it. Let's see. Oh, I guess I'm done. Because it won't let me add anymore. Alright, water. Drop that if you're done with it. Excellent. Let's move on to the tires. Let's go about getting some tires on the car. Let's see. So you, as you can see, we won't get very far without any wheels. 
Uh, car check over in the garage, bring it over here, and we will get started. Oh, yes. Ah, we can only carry two at a time. Oh, well. Place the jack under the car. We will... Oh. There. All right, now, twist the handle. If we can... Oh, boy. Use the tire iron, but first we'll need to fit the road tires. Go ahead and drop that. Alright, let's see. You're good? You just switch back to the tire. Put the tire on. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah. Where's that other tire? There it is. Need to pick it back up. There, okay, now I can pick it back up. Pick it back up. And pick the tire iron back up. And now you go here. And you go there. Good. Drop the car jack down. We'll do the other side. If we can get, let's see. All right, turn you back down. Grab the jack. Run over here. Shut that door. And set that jack down. Ooh, if we can get, get in the right spot. <laughs> get the car up. Oh, wait, what? Oh, sh crap. I threw the tire iron down. Damn it. I don't know where it is now. All right, get the tire on. Wheel and tire. Now I need to find that tire iron because I literally just threw the thing down. Uh, oh, there it is. What? Can't pick it up. Not cool, bro. Okay, there we go. We're all right. <laughs> that kind of worried me a bit. All right, he grabbed that tire. And then once this is done, we should have a car on our hands, guys. That's going to be awesome. You go right there. Or, no, you don't. You do, though. <laughs> you do, though. Oh, my God. I'm trying to... There we go. It's, got... it's weird. Like, you got to find the right spot. Uh, load the trunk with any spares left over in the garage. You can never be sure what you'll need on the road. First of all, let's set that jack down. Oh, come on. Where's my cursor? The cursor in this game is funky. Really funky. Set the jack in there. Pick all these up for sure. There's my cursor. All these are going in the trunk. And anything else we need from the garage? Not that I can see. Uh, well, tools. Tools would be nice. A wash bucket and a toolbox. I'd rather have the toolbox than the wash bucket, I think, for sure. Will the wash bucket fit? Yes, it will! Hell yeah, dude! Alrighty, let's set that trunk down. Anything in here that we need? Or that we might be able to salvage? Doesn't really look like it. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it, but... Let's go ahead and shut that hood and... See what she do! See what she can do. Alrighty, where's that? There it is. Ooh. 
Some millions, some important components. Let's see. Here we have the maintenance manual. Cover the basics of running the car. You'll find information regarding a basic overview of the Leica vehicle. Uh, details of your current engine setup. Listings of a cargo we're currently carrying. That sort of thing. Turn the page by selecting the top corners of each page. So... Let's see. We'll have a look through this later. Go ahead and drop it. Next, you'll need the map. Let's see. I'll let you select what route you're taking. Uh, let's see. This one is important. It allows you to select which route you'll be taking between each destination. Route 1, Route 2, or Route 3. Oh, oh god. I chose Route, th route 3. Uh, I didn't really... Okay. Once your route is selected, we're committed to driving it. Um, and again, you can turn pages by selecting the top corners. The other pages include statistic tracking and, unlo and unlocks tracking. Woo! You can have a look through that later. Go ahead and close that for now. And finally, the keys. Pop them in the ignition. We're running! Now what do we do? I guess we click the steering. Oh yeah. And we're driving. We've got a running vehicle, guys. We've literally like we went from absolutely nothing uh to a running vehicle. Well, not absolutely nothing, but with just a bunch of parts. Look at that. Dude, that jacket is tripping me out. But we're going to go ahead and pick this up in the next episode. But if you guys did enjoy this first episode of Jalopy, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later and hope you guys enjoyed.